Okay, so after we have prepared adjusting entries and worksheet, so we can now continue the steps. So we have the financial statements here. So we have the balance sheet or the statement of financial position and we have the income statement. Okay, so this is your income statement. You have the service revenue and all the expenses. And then we have here the uh, balance sheet or the uh, statement of financial position. This is prepared using the report form. So meaning from uh, it, it is uh, sequenced from top to bottom from assets down to liabilities and owner's equity. Then we have closing entries. So what are the items that we need to close? So those which are mga temporary accounts. So temporary accounts include the following income accounts, whatever is the income account title that you're going to use. Then we have the expense accounts, then we have the income summary, and then we have the drawings or the withdrawal account. So these are the items that you need to close. So you can do it one by one, like on one entry for the income, closing of the income, or another entry for the expense, but you can combine them both. Pwede na siya mong saun. Okay, so on service revenue, ibutang ni mo siya diri. And then, tanang expenses. And then, since mas ako man ito ang service revenue, kaysa sa mga expenses, so ang income summary, ani, kaya na na siya balance diri. Credit balance siya nga, 1,060. And since 1,060 ang balance, income summary, you're going to close that to the capital account of the owner. So, since credit balance siya, so imo siyang i-debit para ma-close ang 1,060. Okay? So, nga man nga uh, i-debit man siya, ma'am. So, for example, kanini, kagitag sa man, di ba, 980 credit and then 8,790 debit. So, ang difference na niya kay 1,060. But since mas dako man ng credit, so this is a credit balance. And we need to close the income summary. So, saan man siya pag-close? Since credit balance man siya, ang 1,060, so para ma-close, imo siyang i-debit. What if mamas dako ang mga expenses kaysa sa uh, revenue? So, bali. Kung mas dako ang mga expenses, kani sila kaysa sa revenue, so na siya debit balance. So, kung debit siya, para ma-close, imo na po siyang i-credit. So, mag-credit kag income summary and you debit the gray capital. So, magdepende gina siya kung unsay balance sa income summary. Not at all times nga, nga ni Jud ang yahang entry. Kaya again, this one, kani siya is pag na-net income. Pag net loss, bali. Mr. Gray Capital, credit income summary kung net loss. Kani siya, ma'am, nga ni bagid ang entry niya to close sa drawings? Yes, maun na gini siya ang entry para mag-close na ang drawings. Dili na siya mag-depend on some conditions. Automatic, pag i-close ang drawings, you're going to credit the drawing account. Kaya di ba ang normal balance mo niya kay debit? So, if you want to close or zero it out, you will credit the account. So, credit diri niya, ang paris yun niya is the capital account. And after you have closed the temporary accounts, you can prepare the post-closing trial balance. Okay, so the post-closing uh, contains only the balance sheet accounts except the withdrawal account which already has zero balance after it has been closed together with other temporary accounts uh, which is illustrated in step 8. So, this is the post-closing trial balance. Post-closing kay after naman sa closing. So, as instructed, tanang balance sheet accounts will appear here except the, cap, uh, not capital, except the withdrawal. So, yung ano, di ba, close naman ito siya diri ang drawings. So, pag ma-close na drawings, so, ma-zero na siya. So, uh, ma mawala na siya at the end of the year. Diyan na siya makita. So, ang mga balance diri sa post-closing trial balance, this will be the beginning balance in the following year. So, following year is 2020 naman. So, in open sa 2020, kani ang mga opening balances. Mawin siya mga beginning balance. 
Mato siyang ang mga income statement accounts. They are temporary because they are closed uh, after the year or at the end of the reporting period. And if they are closed, meaning they have zero balance na, so, di na na sila ma-carry over in the next year. Ang mga accounts na nga ma-carry over in the next year or in the following uh, accounting period are only the real accounts. O niya, ang real accounts mo ni sila, kaning mga balance, balance sheet accounts. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated with the latest video lessons. Thank you for watching!